Hello, this is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm really excited about what's in this little box right here. Actually, it's behind the box. But anyway, um, I just got this yesterday from a friend of mine, longtime friend of mine, who um, we were talking or chatting or emailing back and forth about radios and stuff like that. And uh, he said, hey, I have this SDR that I was getting a little frustrated with because I'm running Windows 10 now and uh, getting the drivers to work and getting a little frustrated. And I can understand that. I know even with Windows 7, when it tries to do a update, it will overwrite the drivers for these SDR dongles. So he sent me this, and it's the Fifi SDR version 2.0. It's made by and I don't know how you pronounce this. You don't pronounce it the way it shows. It's a German company. Actually, it's a German magazine. F-U-N-K Amateur is a German magazine similar to the American QST magazine. And they started a project back in 2010 uh, for training for, for young kids to, about radio. And they came up with this design and put on a little course and everything. That's my understanding. And then in 2013, QST, the American magazine, did a review of this thing and it became really popular. And thinking back to 2013, that's kind of when this ASDR idea started to explode. So, let me show you the actual device itself. It is right here. You can see it's pretty small. It's, uh, let me see if I can use my mat here. It's mm, three and a half inches by two inches. That's how big it is. Very similar in size to the other radio SDR that I reviewed a couple of shows ago. It, it comes as a kit. Now, when I say kit, it's you don't have to build from scratch. It has two PC boards. There are a few components to add to this PC boards, such as the connectors and some other components, and then mate the two boards together and then and stick them inside this enclosure. So it's not too difficult to put together uh, my friend had already done that, so I didn't have to do that. Thanks, good, thank goodness. So here it is. The, on this end is the antenna connector. It has only one antenna connector. It has a standard B and C connector. So pretty easy to hook to all my radios. I mean my antennas. On this side, this is the mini or micro USB port to connect to your computer. This is a reset button. Use this when you want to update the firmware in um, the radio itself. It's on board the radio itself. This is an I.O. connector if you want to do some direct connections to the inner, inner circuits of the radio instead of going through the USB port. It also has a built-in audio driver so that the audio comes out via the USB port, making it compatible with most of the standard, US, uh, standard SDR software that's out there, such as HD SDR, SDR Sharp, and many others. Got <clears throat> um, a nice looks like aluminum case. Uh, one thing I didn't like about some of the other SDRs I got, they had a plastic case, so there was no shielding. So that's good. It has two circuit boards. It has a radio circuit board and a pre-selector circuit board. Yes, a pre-selector. Uh, I will show you in the future some pictures of the two boards and it looks like that pre-selector is fairly 
complicated, so it should do a pretty good job of uh, preventing spurious other frequencies coming in. Because if you remember one of my other reviews of one of these devices, it suffered from media, strong medium wave signals coming into the uh, HF band and interfering. It was suffering quite a bit from that. So theoretically, this doesn't have that problem. The little bit of testing I did for about, oh, 20 minutes, I didn't see any problem. I tuned in WWV and that whole shortwave band was clean, didn't have any of these other frequencies bleeding in. This could be a pretty nice little radio. Like I say, I will be doing multiple shows on this radio. Now, it tunes from 100 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. So it's long wave, medium wave, and short wave. Nothing, no UHF or VHF capability, which is good because that's what I want to use these type of devices for because I have several other ones that work fine on UHF and VHF. Okay, let's see what I'm looking at my notes here, see what else I found out about it. I can say there is an article in 2013 on QST about it. It sells right now, it's still on sale, right now for $150. It, uh, okay, I, got, I gave you the bands that it works on. And it comes with two software packages on a CD. One of them is the original software with, that was developed with it, which is mainly software to manually control the, the radio. And some, and it's, a, it's a, got a graphical interface, so it has a lot of little features that you could use if you're doing experimentation also comes with software from Bonito, and maybe I pronounced that wrong, B-O-N-I-T-O. They've been in the business of providing software for radios for many years. I, uh, I got a software package from them for one of my scanner radios that has a uh, computer interface, and it's fantastic. Matter of fact, gets a little overwhelming because it's got so many features that it really works nice. And this morning I tried the software they provided with this, which came with it free. Also, you can download it free, but if they provide no support for it, so that's why it's free. Typically, their software runs about $100 or $200, maybe even higher. So, in their software, it's always got lots of features, lots of detail, works fantastic. So I'm really excited about a, a, being able to use their software with this receiver. It was specifically, this, this version was specifically designed for this Fifi SDR. Okay, so that's that. I think I've covered about everything Again, it comes with uh, it comes with a very. This is the only documentation besides what's on the CD. Is um, these two pages, one in German, one in English, about and that? That can actually show the boards because they're on this page. Here are <clears throat> well, they only show you one board. This is the re whoops. This is the receiver board. Let me see if I can zoom in. A little bit. Okay, this is the receiver board, and then there's another board which they do not show, which is the pre-selector board, which is almost the same size. <clears throat> so there's a lot of electronics here, a lot of design work went into this. Okay, so this is the documentation that comes with it, besides the documentation, <coughs> excuse me, that is on a CD. <coughs> Unfortunately, I spent about 30 minutes scanning the internet and I could not find any documentation for this 
Bon Ito, or however you pronounce it, B-O-N-I-T-O, software. I couldn't find any documentation for it. it. It might be out there, I just couldn't find it. If anybody knows where I can get it, or has it, they can send it to me, I'd really like it. Because when I look at that program, it has so many options that in order to use it properly, you really need some documentation. So if anybody has any of that um, documentation, let me see if I can, hold on one second. No, I'll try to find the, see if I had, uh, yeah, here it is. The name of the Bonito software for this radio is called Radio Jet. Radio Jet. And um, if you know where I can find some documentation, I'd appreciate it. I can see I, I looked for about a half an hour for any kind of documentation of actually how to use that software, and I did not find it. So anyway, I'm really excited about this. And uh, we'll be doing some shows in the near future, showing this thing operational and showing the software that I'm talking about here. And I'm, I'm excited. And thanks to uh, my friend for sending me this. Uh, I guess I, before he sent me this, I had never heard of this, although it is quite popular. That's the show for today. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.